Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, I'm Jan and today I want to show you a little bit of my souvenirs collection and uh, little pieces I have been breeding from different countries I visited and um, you know when I go somewhere I like to bring just uh, very little things I like uh, little things uh, because uh, it's more comfortable you don't want to take very big and bulky ones because you know I worry that they can break or smash or anything else but uh, little pieces uh, more interesting because I don't know you just like little ones you can look at them and they remind you about good things from um, about the countries you visited so yeah I do like a little souvenirs you know uh, but very often I just don't know I uh, when I started to travel I was like thinking what shall I collect because I really wanted to have a like little collection of uh, the same style but from different countries but you know when you like think of one thing you can't find it in the other country so it's all like end up as a mess and I was just like when I see something I like it I um, trying to get it and uh, also I have a little bit of magnets but I'm not very much uh, into magnets uh, but I still have a bit of a collection of it too. So, but today I'll just show you the little things. You know, while we're in quarantine, I was trying to sort out the things because I still have a lot of boxes around and I just can't make myself, uh, you know, to unpack them all and sort out the things. I know it's so weird because I felt like uh, right now I can't go out. I would have more time, you know, to, to do the things, sort out things, but uh, I still keep doing my... Uh, things online, walking and, uh, you know, making videos and it's also still taking a lot of time, you know, you would think, why would it take so much time, I don't know, it's just, I'm doing things and then it's like, I have to do this and then it's like, oh, it's the end of the day already, so the day is gone. Okay, I'll start a little bit for you guys uh, showing off my Russian collection, let's say that, I'm thinking to take it to the kitchen, so I actually had everything was stuck uh, in the cupboard here and you see now, pretty much a lot of things are out, I still have some bits there, I still have things hiding between those walls uh, and cupboards and uh, I just uh, thought I'll make video while I have uh, things like this because it's probably going to take me another year or so to sort things out because I want to spread them and uh, try to put them together from, uh, you know, like a little bit of the country, country to country, right now it's all mix, complete mix and the mess, but anyway Let's start with a little bit of the Russian because you might be more interested in uh, uh, Russian souvenirs, something like this. This I actually, uh, me and my husband, we bought for our wedding anniversary. I think it was five years and it's a wooden uh, univer uh, anniversary. Anniversary, anniversary. Uh, okay, so, and uh, anniversary, anniversary, guys. I'm just... Uh, yeah, sitting at home and not talking to many <laughs> English people. I'm starting to lose my uh, knowledge of English. Yeah, so that's what uh, we bought from Russia. Uh, it's like, well, it's like kind of like, uh, I don't know, champagne glasses, I presume, on, um, on the heart. So it's all made of wood and uh, beautiful paintings, it's like very typical Russian um, uh, art let's say it this way, so um, I have a bit more here, this is the vase, that was a present from my mom, also for our anniversary, and uh, also she got me this one so for the um, candles, and uh, this I was, uh, well, this is from Portugal, okay, so this just stands here, I like that this I got um, as a souvenir for me, because I really like this, uh, it's the one of the... Um, uh, traditional uh, Portuguese souvenirs. Uh, this was all that that's actually was for our wedding present gift from one of uh, my husband's friends. It actually was uh, hand painted, and these are flowers from our wedding cake. <laughs> yeah, my husband is like, we should keep them. I said, well, okay, let's keep them. So, yeah, we still have them. So, yeah, continue. Now, these are uh, uh, also from my family. Uh, they were giving us uh, on uh, our. Um, wooden anniversary so that's like supposed to be for sugar so uh, well that's like I don't know where you can drink from it well actually it's like a little vase you put like some sweets maybe in there this is also um, would be good for sweets and I think this one uh, mom was telling me that this is more for like honey you're supposed to put like honey here and uh, yeah to get uh, honey from there and we used to eat from uh, spoons like this 
like really cool. I like it. <laughs> I do really like it a lot. There's a lot of uh, these types of souvenirs and they're actually quite expensive now. Uh, but this is very uh, old Russian traditional uh, way of making um, a tableware. Okay, so yeah, now let's go to the uh, um, shelves <laughs> and I'll try to tell you a little bit of things I have here. Well, if I'll start just from this corner, I have some, you know, some of those minerals, uh, you know, like crystals. Uh, it's uh, this we brought from somewhere, I don't remember from which country now. And uh, all of this my husband had previously before. He actually, he liked quite a lot of these things. And uh, yeah, so that's uh, his that I had. Uh, this is from the friend. Uh, this also was uh, one of our uh, presents. I actually have a very big, nice crystal, Swarovski from uh, Austria. We bought in Austria, but um, it's not in here, not on the shelves, uh, but we went in a museum, it's uh, in Innsbruck, it's really nice, it uh, was very shiny out there. So that's from um, Canada, a bit of tea, we also had more tea and we had marble uh, um, syrup, which was uh, really nice to put into the uh, tea, but um, uh, we finished it, so it's, it's gone now. So you see, that's why you really need to get the presents, uh, not presents, the souvenirs, which will last, right? So you don't eat, we had also some drinks. Uh, which are gone now. This was one of the, that's the first souvenir I had from America. I think it's like 2008, the first time I went to America and got this uh, uh, little eagle. So yeah, that's like really cool. That's a clock from the wedding, in, uh, from the wedding my mom got it for me. Um, that's also was a wedding gift. Okay, this also not the souvenirs, it's just like different things from England. I was buying this on, uh, I think on a car boot sale. I like the doll. It's still in the plastic bags, you know, and there's also some <laughs> cars out there too. That's from Russia. Uh, there's also things from England. So let's go now to a bit of the souvenirs, right? Okay, here. Uh, what do we have? So, well, that's the Feng Shui. Okay, so that's the Feng Shui. Uh, that's actually my husband. He went to um, Egypt. I didn't go to Egypt, but that's what he got from Egypt. So that's from Amsterdam. Okay, so uh, yeah, that's probably like, you know, these things that are like, quite famous. And so I've got like different types. <laughs> I actually got for the you know, husband and for me, I like yellow. And this was like for mom gift. So I, I had to bro bring it back to here from Russia. So that's from Malaysia. Kuala Lumpur, you know, this is the Petronas Towers, famous, and uh, it's a can, tin opener, I think, you see, like, really cool, isn't it, tin opener, in a, in a box like that, that's like, um, it was uh, nice, so I quite liked it. So, this is from Australia, and uh, also wooden, I quite like this, and uh, they have, you know, the, the art, they have the dot art. So that's how they uh, paint. You see how different it is to Russian, right? In Russia we don't paint like this, don't do use dots. Uh, and uh, well, that's how they do in Australia. I have another one here. This one has much more on it. See, look at that. That's like really, really beautiful, like all uh, painted. And I have lizards, I think, here. There was a uh, kangaroo on one and a lizard on the other one. So, and uh, that's just like a little also decorative uh, thing. That's from New Zealand. I had more souvenirs actually from New Zealand uh, with that shell, you know, that's the only you can find in New Zealand, a shell, and I had some um, jewelry from it, so, and uh, yeah, but there's a little box, um, which is quite cool. There's also just a, a tree, uh, which my mom had in Russia, so, but I took it with me. I said, I'm not leaving it. <laughs> I'm taking it. I like this. Uh, it's quite cool. It's like, you know, so you call it um, tree of happiness. Okay, so what's next? Uh, this also my husband. Uh, that's the uh, cup from Austria, from Innsbruck. We have some more of them actually in the kitchen. I don't know how it's ended up here when I was just taking stuff uh, out so i got this i probably need to take it to the kitchen too a uh, first time <laughs> why that is so important because this is the first time i tried glue wine in austria and uh, i was so drunk i told you guys i only had like this size of cup and uh, that's it i was just like blown away <laughs> so my husband had to carry me home <laughs> no no i was walking really but it was like really really got right into into your blood and it was really hot and nice uh, afterwards ah well that's just a picture of me and my mom when uh, we were in uh, saratov we had this opportunity to take picture in like old clothes so 
we're looking like um, from whatever century so uh, yeah going up here this are also mom's collection all of this she was trying to collect uh, them uh, a year every year you know like Chinese year like a cat a horse year the monkey the uh, gold year and uh, everything else and this is the mice mouse year so she was collecting it and uh, obviously because she moved away from Russia she uh, told me to take it with me so that's from there also well that's Big Ben obviously it's from England and, and uh, it's like really nice I like this Ah, oh, yeah, I don't know, I'm just going to switch it on. With one hand, it's not very easy. Here we go, you see, it has, it has different colors. I like this. And it has cloaks in every side. So that's pretty cool. I like that one. Also bought it a long time ago. And, uh, yeah, I know they made afterwards, like, if they like, little golden uh, decorations on them. Like, really nice ones. But this is, like, one of the first ones. Uh, this is from Japan. The little dolls so got this from Japan also that fan is also from Japan this are uh, the crystal vases and like this one and uh, that was and this one no not I think not this one that was and uh, this beautiful vase these are all from my hometown they we used to have a um, crystal plant uh, factory which was making crystal and uh, glass and uh, I think it's closed now so uh, yeah definitely the shop is definitely closed but I think the whole factory is not producing anymore but yeah that's the that's from Russia and uh, uh, now is a memory okay <laughs> so this uh, Chinese tea uh, some of the leftovers I would say is still full because we had a lot and lot of Chinese tea uh, which we uh, drunk for the years quite a lot so quite nice and like tea this is coffee from Bali and uh, very very strong coffee so this is the uh, one of the magnets uh, Singapore magnets and I need to put it probably on the uh, uh, fridge but I, I have to tell you guys this is probably the most expensive magnet I ever had I think it's like 10 or 15 dollars uh, yeah very very expensive I, I don't remember paying so much money for any magnets usually it's one uh, to uh, one up to five dollars, uh, but this is was very expensive. <laughs> I know, I know. It's when we went to Singapore and um, we were supposed to go on a tour, but our airline um, failed us and uh, they cancelled the early flight, and we had to fly on the other one. And we spent a few hours in the airport instead of going on a tour around Singapore. So, and then I just thought, okay, I'm gonna get the most expensive <laughs> magnet. <laughs> So I think it's like real little orchid in there. I don't know why it was so expensive. This is gold from uh, Australia. I also have some more similar of these, uh, but somewhere hidden too. So it's just uh, a little bit of things. So this is also from Portugal. I have more of those ones. They're made of um, the, the, the tree. I've forgotten what tree they call, but if you from Portugal you know which one <laughs> or if you've been to Portugal so yeah it's wooden but uh, that's how they make the the cards I mean they make a lot of uh, things from it I've forgotten the name of it sorry guys yeah um, I think I had something else also like a bag or something handbag because they make like dresses from this um, oh, I've forgotten what you call it so but it's very it's very very Portuguese they, they like to do things like that from it so um, going to the next a little bit high this also this mom's so I don't know it's like where she got it from uh, so that's what I was thinking to collect the bells when I started to my travels so this is from uh, Toronto you see Canada Arizona and I also have from uh, Gozo uh, Malta. This is also from Malta. I think I got this one after we had a show. Uh, it was a really nice show and I got it from there. So um, this is was also framed as a present for our wedding. So that's mom's collection Russian. So that's that, that's the cool one. I really like this one. It's from Cambodia and it has a snake in there. I wanted to buy also they had scorpion and I thought it was really cool, but I was actually, I only bought one because I was worried that uh, we might be not allowed to bring in some airports, you know, they don't like like America or Australia and uh, we were going somewhere else after Cambodia and I was worried that 
they're gonna take because I wanted a bit of a collection of them and I thought next time I come back I will definitely buy uh, some other things inside it it's, a, it's a really cool I'm telling you it's really cool as, even as a present if somebody would give me as a present like this I would have been like wow I like it <laughs> a lot this is from Stockholm you can see we only went uh, on a cruise one day uh, wander around and so got like uh, this little thing and this is also from Russia, St. Petersburg. It's also mom bought it when we went to St. Petersburg. That's the vase also from our Saratov town. This is um, from Spain. Very nice, beautiful fan. I got this when we were living in Dania in Costa Blanca. I absolutely loved it there. It was really, really nice. And uh, I got it from there. I have some toys, um, some dolls, which I honestly, guys, don't remember. I think maybe the run on the right is also uh, Spanish. I don't know some of them because i was thinking to start to collect dolls like i'm saying i have some more collection in the other place not everything is here because i still have things in the other countries <laughs> which needs to be <laughs> brought here i have some cars also my husband so i didn't unpack it yet i will do afterwards this is quite empty out there so going to this uh, shelf that was uh, presents from uh, mother-in-law that's that fan from belgium very nice, you know, in Belgium they make it out of the, uh, what you call it, crochet. And of course, uh, most beautiful and tasty chocolate. Of course, we ate all the chocolate. We have been going a few times to Belgium to get the chocolate. <laughs> so, uh, this is from uh, Israel. Um, what you call it? I don't know, Hanukkah, Hanukkah, I think you call it. Yeah, I, I absolutely love this when I saw it. This is also the first, uh, one of the first trips. And look how beautiful it is. I mean, it's been years. I think it's like uh, at least 10 years. And uh, it didn't get dark at all. I don't know what uh, they made of it. But usually you would expect uh, it's getting not very nice color. Darkened by now. That's also a smaller one which I was getting for my mom. Also, look at that. It. It's like gold plated. I don't know. Maybe it was gold plated. It has like some label on it. So uh, maybe. I don't know. But look really nice. I like this a lot. I was uh, trying to get the best price. I remember how I was like asking, the, please give me better price, please, 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 because I like it. And they gave me a good price. I don't remember what, uh, but it was uh, nice. I like it so much. This was a, a present also from um, our friend. And uh, I don't know, I think it's like some Chinese uh, uh, from China. I don't know, but it uh, definitely was a present. So that I got a little one from Pisa. You know, when you went there, they have those little ones right there. So I just like, okay, a little bit of uh, something to remember. That's from Sicily. And um, it's made from lava. You know, the Etna, Mount Etna and uh, Vulcano Etna. Uh, so yeah, I got it right from there. So that's made from lava. It was really cool because we had a chance to walk inside the crater. Can you believe it? So uh, afterwards, of course, it was erected again. So uh, yeah, that was uh, really cool. Something to really definitely remember. And I just got this one. I thought it was like, you know, a little bit interesting. Um, nice uh, souvenir. It's um, uh, in a small town. I've forgotten the name of it now. I uh, need to see, but yeah, well, anyway, it's from Sicily, so and that's important thing. Yeah, I like my line. That's me. <laughs> that line. It looks that shiny. It's like, you know, I mean, they put some shine glitter on it, so that's like quite uh, cool. So now I'm going to the shelf, and I have, this also, it's the first, uh, one of the first souvenirs, uh, because it's from uh, Paris, from France, after England, uh, London, we went to France. And also, look, this is old. It's like, I went, what, 2008? So, that's also from 2008. And um, I actually got this for mom. And she kept it in her place. And look at this, it's like, didn't get dark at all. Compared to that, it's, I bought it somewhere on the street, I remember. Um, so, yeah, so really good. This is from Riga. Uh, it's the balsam, they call it and uh it's very popular gift we actually didn't even open it so look we have uh light and i think it's a black bal balm yeah black balsam so um oh the other one is also black anyway so yeah and we didn't have it this is from Tallinn, also the bell that's why i was like saying i was thinking to collect the bells uh, but not every country had them for example <laughs> they said also uh very old I think 2008 or maybe 2009. No, I think it's 2008, South Africa. And uh, we went to Port Elizabeth and it was not very touristy place. And I couldn't find any 
souvenirs. So I saw those ones and I decided to buy the um, collection of um, animals, you know. Because uh, South Africa reminds me safari. We went on safari three times. So believe it or not. So why? Because we were looking for um, giraffes and uh, lions. So we went to see in uh, one safari. We saw all of the animals, you know, we have here. Uh, and uh, But we couldn't find giraffes. So we went on a second safari and we found giraffes. But we haven't found the lions. So that's why we had to go on the third safari. And... Uh, where we found a lot of lions. Yeah, so you see, that's pretty cool. Uh, and uh, that's uh, uh, what I could collect. I think I got all the animals which they had and uh, nothing else, uh, no other animals I could get out there. But I saw all of them in uh, wildlife and it's absolutely incredible to see the animals in uh, wildlife, to be honest, guys. That's the best uh, experience to see them. Okay, so look at the at the back. It's from Japan. Yeah, so I have a fan and I have these little cups. It's actually, well, I presume it's for sake. And believe it or not, I didn't buy it. It was a present from the hotel. And uh, yeah, they have a special, so this is two sets. So that's the set with this little uh, beautiful, look at them, how pretty it is, uh, little glasses and little cups, I don't know how would you call them, look they're like so so nice so it's like, it's not like some you know simple crappy thing, it's really really nice and look at this one's also, I uh, really like it so what they were doing is that if you don't uh, you know usually they're, they're supposed to clean your room every day but if you don't ask to clean the room every day they would have given you a points and when you collect so many points you could have exchanged them on whatever uh, souvenirs presents they had in the hotel believe it or not and then i had enough points to get two sets one set with this little uh, nice thing and uh, those uh, separate uh, little cups that was really beautiful look at this beautiful i like this um, peacock how they made it shiny gold <laughs> yeah russians we do really like when it's gold so you see it's like very very nice i was really i mean i was going to buy myself but when i end up getting enough points to actually get it i thought wow that's cool something to remember and uh, i actually had a uh, review of the um, hotel on one of my videos that's the that's the old thing we had uh, from my husband so now going down this also old uh, clock uh this is the first one of the first uh, the trip to turkey and of course uh, i was absolutely uh, impressed with the tea you know i like tea so tea coffee and it's an apple tea and this is where they use that's how they give it to you right in this little cup so i absolutely love it we actually also tried kiwi tea and it was also really nice but i still like apple tea so so good so yeah that's also old long time ago it's been and uh, absolutely lovely we were so in love with Turkey, it was a great hospitality, we had really good um, experience out there, um, yeah, so very cool, and uh, so it was our honeymoon, actually we were supposed to be on honeymoon in Spain, but we had some problems, and uh, it was last minute deal to Turkey, and uh, spontaneous, absolutely spontaneous, and it's exactly how our life uh, afterward became very spontaneous, so now we can't plan anything, <laughs> so uh, yeah, now let's see, this is Beverly you know, we went to Bethlehem, yeah, um, and um, got uh, this little thing. We also, like I'm saying, we still have some other presents, uh, gifts, um, souvenirs, but they're not all here. We had something else from there. Uh, this is also from New Zealand, right? So one of the gods, I presume, uh, which protect the house. So they're supposed to protect the house. Now I have two of them, because one was for mom, one was for me. Uh, that's little doggy from Russia. <laughs> so look, this is beautiful Murana glass that's amazing i mean this also was for my mom i brought it for her as a little present look at this gondola this is so beautiful that's the one i got for myself uh, like a little um well whatever jar you call it or, you know so very very pretty i mean my mom really likes it so much like i'm saying yeah you can see it's it's very very beautiful very pretty so yeah we this i'm gonna probably like i'm saying i'm gonna Put it somewhere else, I don't know, to keep it like this here would be good. 
So yeah, I was very impressed in Venice uh, how many different things they have made from glass. I really wanted to buy a lot of things, but I was worried that I'm not going to be able to bring it because it can break. But it's very, very beautiful. So if I will go again, I will definitely get something else. So uh, that's the Aladdin, right? <laughs> Aladdin lamp. It kind of looks like it. I got this one from Petra. We also went to Petra. It just uh, uh, was uh, one day uh, tour to Petra. Also was uh, absolutely impressed with hospitality. We had the most uh, wonderful uh, organized trip. I don't like organized trips much, but that was a really good one. They have they were giving us really nice food, which was all included, and uh, that was just in Petra. I think the Bedouins were selling it, and I just like thought, wow, that looks like Aladdin lamp. I definitely want to buy it. So unfortunately, I was rubbing and rubbing and rubbing and rubbing, and there is no gin. <laughs> no, please, where is that gene? I want, I want my wishes come true. But uh, yeah, so I was a bit scammed. No genie. Genie! No genie. Well, I think I've just let it, I let it him free, you know, just like say, okay, genie, you, you're hiding there. If you're hiding, you're free. You can go. Okay. So he just like disappeared. <laughs> okay. So uh, that's also from Thailand. We actually thought we will come back. It's made from coco uh, coconut shell. We had uh, some other um, presents, uh, souvenirs from it, and uh, like coconut oil, which I used also all, and uh, uh, like tiger balm, really good ones. So and I had lots and lots of different souvenirs. We we were actually planning to come back. I thought the next time I come back, I will bring empty. Uh, suitcases and I'll get some more souvenirs but um, unfortunately we never made it second time but hopefully maybe one day again and uh, yeah these are the watches I wanted to show you um, we were living in uh, Finland for about a month and uh, well actually not about for more than a month and uh, we've got a friend there and his dad is making these souvenirs uh, from the wood and um, he puts it on a little chains so he made it for us, so gave it to us, as a, gave it to us as a as a present. So that was really nice of him. So uh, yeah, ding ding ding. So that, that, I feel, I'm sure I had something else from uh, Finland, but I don't know. I can't see it right now. Maybe I would have to look and find some more. Oh, here I have a little bit of. Uh, uh, from Florida, right? From Florida, yay! I <laughs> still didn't get any picture in there. Las Vegas, I had some t-shirts, like really cute t-shirts from Vegas and uh, somewhere else I had some more stuff. This is also like my husband, some bit more of the books. I have my Russian books in here. You see like Three Musketeers and uh, Jules Verne and uh, some other ones right there. We still have a little bit left. Uh, books like I'm saying, we still have in Bulgaria some some things and um, I really hope still I will be able to bring it but it's my from my childhood those uh, old Russian books yeah and uh, believe it or not I had also Bond the <laughs> Bond movie <laughs> so I actually didn't like it when I was reading it I don't know I didn't like it but I still decided to bring it because it's uh, also was nice unfortunately I don't have Agatha Christie because uh, that was the first English uh, writer i um uh, i read a lot of books uh, but it was not mine it was uh, my aunt's friend and uh, this is the uh, another book taisa finskaya uh, this is from this book first time i find out about um, alexander the great yeah it was uh, in this book so yeah i have uh, this is the also a nice one uh, Stevenson, um, the island of, uh, I don't know, Treasure Island, if it's correct, I'm translating Treasure Island, yeah, and Robinson Crusoe, yeah, you see, I have all those books, <laughs> yeah, I've been reading them when I was uh, living in Russia, and uh, it's cool, so, but very little, I really w wanted to bring some more books, but these are my favorite ones, and I couldn't leave them. I couldn't leave them behind, so I had to bring them. So, well, that's pretty much it, guys. For now, if uh, I find something else, maybe, well, I, I will bring some more stuff eventually. You see, it's like all the mess. Maybe next time when I bring more stuff and I can sort out the things, but like I'm saying, I have no idea how long time it's going to take me now uh, with all of this, like, you know, also um, self-isolation and uh, no airplanes flying. So I have no idea when I'm going to, whatever I'm going to make it. I hope so. Anyway, so uh, of course I will try to show you again if I will get some more stuff. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching, guys. So please stay safe. 
we all wish for all the best and uh, hopefully everything quarantine will finish soon and uh, don't forget to subscribe of course I'll see you later bye everyone